Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. So when you read the title of this podcast, which is Just Because You Can Doesn't Mean You Should, also applies to leftovers, what kind of leftovers were you thinking about? For a lot of people, they're going to be thinking about that dinner that got put away in the Tupperware container and then shoved into the back of the refrigerator on accident. And you find it, gosh knows how many days or weeks later. And when you open it up, if the smell doesn't get you, the, the amazing growth that's on the food in there, you're, you're looking at it going, I'm growing my own penicillin. Look at this. For a lot of people, that's the type of leftovers that they think about. Uh, I want to expand leftovers for you. Just because you can doesn't mean you should also applies to the friend that only wants to give you her time that she has left over from everything else that she's doing. So she's not necessarily going to be there for you. Uh, she's going to be there when it's convenient for her. So the relationship is all transactional on her part. Or how about the love interest? Just because you can doesn't mean you should also applies to leftover love because maybe you were taught to accept the crumbs that someone else decided to feed you and that it's easier to keep connected through problems and pain instead of progress because you were conditioned to settle for so little when when you were growing up. Or uh, just because you can doesn't mean you should also applies to the leftovers that your boss decides to give you. Oh, yeah, there's just nothing left over in the budget for you to have that raise, that increase, uh, because it's not based on your brilliance and what you've been bringing to the job. Instead, they have decide to base it off of what they want to be able to keep. What we've been taught in so many different areas of our life to settle for leftovers. How about this one? Just because you can doesn't mean you should also applies to leftovers that food and alcohol and drugs, any type of drug, has told you they're your friend. They're going to stick with you through thick And then they're always going to be there for you. But they're actually the leftovers of life because they can never fill the void. It is only temporary. And those substances will look to seek control over you. And and then you wind up that you're doing their bidding that whenever the, the, the drink or that cigarette, or that um, food that you keep shoving down to try to repress and suppress those emotions, and you don't know what to do with them, yet now you're learning to accept even more leftovers in life, because those are leftovers and what you want to experience in a relationship. You are missing the connection. I know you've been betrayed. I know you have been hurt and wounded to your very core. Some might even say traumatized. I would. And so you've accept, accepted this pseudo relationship with nothing that, and it can only give you back loss of control. 
just because you can doesn't mean you should. So this is what I want you to know. Your subconscious mind, which runs all of your habits and patterns and success or failure, is simply a habit and pattern. Your subconscious mind must have electricity. And that electricity that it runs off of are emotions. The subconscious also has laws that govern it. And one is like creates like. (laughs) It's a universal law. You plant a tomato seed, you get tomatoes, you don't get corn. So you were planted to with certain emotions by your primary caregivers. And those emotional states were actually used then to control you. So whenever you would experience that emotion, you didn't know what to do with it, then your primary caregivers would tell you that if you would appease them, This is how you get parentified and you turn into a people pleaser. If you would just please them, that everything would be okay. It happens with siblings, older siblings. It happens with parents. It happens with teachers and coaches, anyone in authority over you. They then give you the way out, and the way out is to make them happy. But think of this. Happiness only comes from solving problems. Happiness is different than joy. We are wired for joy. We are genetically wired for it. It can be there all the time. This is the reason why you can find people of great faith who will celebrate even in the trials because they've learned how to turn that on. Happiness, on the other hand, which we also need, is very fleeting. Happiness comes from solving problems. And the more complex the problem, the more intense of the happiness, or maybe the longer lasting, but you will become habituated to the resolution. Whatever problem you just solved, whatever you used to do that, uh, anywhere from three days to three weeks, and it's no longer a big deal, which is the reason why you can buy a new car, and after about three weeks, you're on to the next thing. It just no no longer holds the same thrill for you. So if you want to rely on happiness only, you are going to have to go from problem to problem to problem, and they're going to have to increase in their complexity for you to be able to keep your happiness. It's like a drug that you become addicted to. Phew! Now, some of you have already having the realization why life has been the way it has up to this point. Now, every emotion that we experience, we have a story around it because our subconscious mind, which runs all of our habits and patterns, not only does it need that electricity of emotion to turn it on to run those habits and patterns, it has to have a meaning behind that habit and pattern. And so there is a story, a story that you've been taught to tell yourself that will explain the behavior and the repeated insanity of not getting where you want to go because you've been programmed and conditioned to make it happen for other people instead of yourself. Okay, so You have to be able to tell a better story. Here's your hypnosis helper. The story does not end here. You're in a chapter. The the next chapter's coming. But for the next chapter to actually get you results, well, then the story needs to be upgraded. Go to drewdawnferguson.com forward slash Vista, V-I-S-T-A. There, I am going to be doing a training where I teach you how to program and condition yourself for a better story. You you can start that upgrade same day. In fact, I'll tell you at the event, same day results, not resolution, that takes time up to 91 days, but you will feel results same day. 
How can I do that? Because I'm going to be doing multiple hypnosis sessions for the upgrading in your programming and conditioning on the emotions that you're experiencing. Because let's face it, the, the fear, the panic, the pain, it's not going to go away. We have to learn to optimize it and turn it to where that those waves of emotions actually lift you up. Greater heights of success with less effort. And I'm going to give you a gift certificate at the event that you can then use in working with me privately. DrewDawnFerguson.com forward slash Vista. So your hypno- hypnosis helper is what story are you going to begin to tell yourself? Because that happy ending of progress is waiting for you and it's waiting for you now.